the culmination of Cole's romantic fantasies. This work echoes the artist's other works of the period in its Italian-derived scenery and its attempt to illustrate themes dealing with the grandeur of the past. Is it a bird bath or is it a goblet? If you thought it was a bird bath, I would completely understand why. I myself thought of this and thought it was kind of comical because this painting is titled The Titan Goblet. The Titan's Goblet was done by Thomas Cole in 1833. One of his high paying patrons, Lumen Reed, rejected it, which I think was a huge mistake. I mean, look at this thing. It's just wonderful. It is so mystifying. We see this beautiful paradise atop the goblet with some Greek columns along its brim. I should add that this type of scenery would have been derived from his travels through Europe, which we will talk about later. We see the sun reflecting this wonderful light off of the water on the lake, so to speak, of the goblet. And then the golden tips of the mountains too. I mean, everything is just so majestic and fantastical. Something that us art nerds like to refer to as the sublime, which was a theory developed by Edmund Burke in the mid 18th century. He defines sublime as art that refers to a greatness beyond all possibility of calculation. Something that evokes fear, wonder, awe, and makes your body shudder. Thomas Cole, February 1, 1801, February 11, 1848, was an Anglo-American painter known for his landscape and history paintings. One of the major 19th century American painters, he is regarded as the founder of the Hudson River School, an American art movement that flourished in the mid-19th century. Cole's work is known for its romantic portrayal of the American wilderness.